Awful TikToker arrested for lying about her cancer. What? She was diagnosed with cancer, raised 37,000, but was <sighs> given a heavy sentence as the cancer never existed. Born March 2003, her name is Madison Russo, and she was a Jay Z, y'all gotta eat this one. Oh, my draft babies, y'all gotta eat this one. Yes, I'm calling y'all draft babies because good luck out there. Uh, y'all gotta eat this one. Iowa student when she began feeling, quote, just a little bit off. She experienced sporadic fevers, some bloody stools and random nosebleeds, leading to a checkup with her university doctor. On the 10th of February 2022, at the age of only 19, Maddie was given a diagnosis she never could have predicted. I got the call from my oncologist and they found a mass on my pancreas and I had stage two. Knowing that she's lying, she looks like she's lying. Yeah. Knowing that she was lying in this video, she definitely looks like she's lying, which is crazy. To pancreatic cancer at just 19 years old. Out of 25 different cancers, pancreatic has the lowest chance of survival. The five-year outlook of survival is a slim 11. You chose that one? She didn't do her research to it. Or maybe she did. She didn't do her research. Or maybe she did. What you mean? Maybe she did. Because that was Maybe she her... chose it on purpose. Because that'll made her story when she survived so much grander. Mm. Mm. However, this initial announcement video was already somewhat suspicious. She kept on looking to the left like she was reading off a script, which would be a pretty strange approach to talking about a life experience. Yeah. It's her looking yeah. at her script for me. Perhaps she wrote oh, it out to keep her words concise. They was but also to... how she was diagnosed didn't sound right. You don't just have an... Who is she? She looked like a YouTuber. Brett Cooper, the Daily Wire, the comment sections with Brett Cooper. That setup is. She looks like a dude. There's a dude that looks just like this. Eyebrows. Is her? Cut her face. Cut her face. Cut her face. Cut her face. Wait, which part of the face am I? Just her eyes, eyebrows, and nose. Am I only supposed to be? Ben Shapiro. Is it Ben? Oh, she looks like. Is it Ben Shapiro? So her her name is Brett? Her name is Brett? Okay. She looks like... I think that is Ben Shapiro. One second. Oh, he wasn't saying she looks like a YouTuber. He's saying she looks like somebody that is a youth. She looks like a certain... She YouTuber. does look like Ben Shapiro. She looks like Ben Shapiro. Okay, 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 okay. Her name is Brett. Okay. That's a... Okay, Bro, okay. it's scary. Okay, Dude. Yeah. Yeah, she do look like Ben Shapiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An oncologist. It takes weeks, months. You have to find one that specializes in the kind of cancer you have. These red flags were clearly overlooked as Maddie was featured by her local news in which Damn. she'd stand this shows how gullible people are. Story. My phone rang and it said Iowa City Oncology. I stepped out of the classroom and took the call. They told me they had found a mass on my Shapiro. pancreas and that I had stage two pancreatic cancer. I was terrified. Bro, if the all all that required was the the Iowa City to be like, we ain't never yeah, seen never, they ain't never fight, been. and I definitely still am. I was in shock. But I didn't they think it known, could be bro. true. I'm so young, and I wondered how this could happen. I went through all the emotions, and I was pretty numb. I remember hanging up the phone, and I was a mess. I was literally bawling, but somehow I ended up getting the courage to wipe away my tears and went back into class. Which now, when I think about it, was pretty crazy. I'll be real with y'all, bro. I remember I had got some health news a while back. It shattered me, right? Yeah, it wasn't even like you wouldn't be that that you wouldn't look that happy on camera saying this news. And like if when was, I if it was cancer, and when I got the news, I got I was like I was fucked. It was nowhere near. Cancer, I didn't want but... I didn't want to talk about it, nigga. That nigga Mike had nigga. He was like, bro, you good? Woo woo. And it's like. I didn't even go. I still haven't went to the public about it. This is the first time y'all even find about some crazy shit even happen. But like, I'm not gonna go make a TikTok about it and be cool. You hear me? 
You never want to get cancer, and if you do get diagnosed, you can't choose where you get it. Of all the ones, why does it have to be this one? Again, implying to everyone that she'd been given the worst cancer possible. To so make matters did. worse, no. surgery was she not an knew. option as my tumor is on the tail of my pancreas. You can't get a new pancreas with the pancreas do. Chat with the pancreas does. Ain't the pancreas like insulin type joint? I think it is. Hmm. Hmm. Delta and it's very deep rooted. Toxins. Doctors said that if they went in, the surgery would do more harm. There was more risk than reward, and as a result, she'd instead be doing 15 rounds of oral chemotherapy along with 90 rounds of radiation. She'd document the journey as a way to help her cope, trying to act as an example that she could maintain looks and life. She was taping this shit on She's her chest. She's insane. She's crazy, bro. She's insane. Looking perfectly digestive. Oh, blood it is blood sugar. sugar. Yeah. Pancreas is blood sugar. Yeah. She's crazy. Looking perfectly healthy, but taping shit to her chest, bro. <laughs> Wait. Can't you get a new pancreas? Because I know uh, people with type 1 diabetes, don't they wait their lives for a new pancreas? Possibly, maybe, sort of, kind of. Oh, but your body can reject the new yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Style. She'd write round 14 of chemo ended last Bro. Friday and by Especially Sunday after 14 rounds of chemo. Right. I just Wait, don't you lose your hair? You can, I don't think, but you wouldn't look this jolly like nothing's wrong with you wouldn't look like nothing wrong with you my running shoes and see i'm pretty sure you wouldn't look well, like nothing six wrong with miles you. i'm thinking the bags of blood i received earlier in the week fueled this one and made me speedy although to a person with leukemia named anna tower this was again very strange she wrote when i saw maddie's post about her going for a run she looked pretty she had all her hair and was strong enough to go running a run i was missing since my diagnosis so there i was sitting on the couch looking at that post and asking myself what was I doing wrong? Why was I bald, weak, and couldn't even think about walking, let alone running? Bro, that's evil. Evil, see? That's evil. 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 That's, bro, I think people are so intoxicated with the idea of clout. Mm -hmm. they, they do anything. Bro. Anything. It's not when that. You, it's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep, bro. bro. Walking to the car to get to the hospital was a challenge. I was thinking I did something bro. wrong. Or maybe that I was not strong enough. Passively oh, implying sad. Maddie's appearance was Look also Look perfectly suspicious. fine. People began to ask, how do you have chemo and keep all that beautiful hair? So, so I was right. I was right, bro. Because everyone who I see have chemo, bro. It looks like some people even look like they have alopecia. Yeah. Because it, it'll leave certain parts of the hair long, other parts falls out. Like, and that's not no wig, bro. Yeah, that's not a wig. That's attached to her. Yeah. Head. To which she'd post the following video. That's attached to her head. I am keeping my hair um, during. Biotic. Bit. Oh, oh, I was in. Get out, bro. Biotic. Made in. me take this hat off. Biotic. Not radiation. My mom found this. Um, it's biotin with collagen and keratin. Maddie claimed that she'd kept her hair by using vitamin supplements, but with. See, bro. I, how much time they gave her? I hope it's life. I hope it's life. I hope it's life. I hope it's life. I know it's an evil up. world we live in. For sure is. My show is it's like I guess the biotin is stronger, stronger than, than the chemo. chemo. Thank should you. adjust her claim, Thank stating you. it did fall out sometimes. I was like brushing my hair and a few like pieces. Your hair ain't going nowhere. Hair, hair naturally falls out. To show like, she wasn't oh. lying, but it was pretty damn obvious. That it, it was just it's cut. Bro, it's cut. It's cut. You can straight cut. From a haircut. Additionally, Maddie was super tanned in every single photo, which. A Oh, bro, it's so sick, bro. It's, sick. it's so ah. like, ah. bro. White women scare me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all, bro. White women are terrifying. Cause... What? 
again was weird as they don't let you tan or use self tanners during chemo. Her response, get this, was that the radiation treatment was- Oh, okay, we gotta get through it. She's crazy, she's insane. She's oh, insane. Ah! She's Maybe insane. this radiation was- Bro, I, I, I can't, bro. I'm she's getting too mad. I gotta walk. I gotta walk. <laughs> bro! She's insane. Bro! The radiation game bro. is dead. Bro! The radiation game bro. is dead, bro. Bro! I- <laughs> What? Evil. Evil. What? Bro, please. Bro, please. 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 Please tell me this is after she raised the money. Please. Please. Oh, because if this is before, if this is before she raised the money, I was thinking that earlier. Too. Radiation treatment was keeping her golden brown. Maybe this radiation was also recharging her energy, as Maddie gave talks at St. Ambrose oh University, the SAU Generosity Night, and for the National Pancreas Foundation. In the process, she'd appear. Why nobody fact nobody check? Nobody fact check nothing. Why nobody fact check? Y'all got pictures of people who can't do none of the crap she talking about. And nobody fact check. Why y'all didn't fact check? Come on, man. How would you define the term pancreatic cancer? Um, the first word that comes to mind is just ugly. Before announcing she'd gotten a second type of cancer. It is with- Oh, oh, wow. Oh wow. With heartbreak oh, and wow. shock that I oh, share wow. the news that my oh, cancer wow. has spread to my blood and is acute lymphoblastic Whoa. leukemia on top of my original diagnosis of pancreas. Let me tell y'all something. I'm about to I'm about to let y'all know something. My grandfather, my grandfather is the only so, person my I My mom know has cancer currently, and while I don't defend this dumb dumb, and I can say that there are some chemo treatments don't cause hair to fall out. No, I, I, and I believe it. But look, my grandfather has had two types of cancer. My grandfather has had skin cancer, and that nigga's had, um, I think it was his scrotum. Yeah, yeah, I think he had ball cancer. One of those two, right? They had the, I'm old gone, right? <laughs> <laughs> Them all gone, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandpa. Why you said it like that? Them all gone. Testicular yeah, kit. Yeah, testicular. Yo. So, hey, um, he's a warrior. Hey, and he, he got and, in the body. And that nigga flies all over the world. But when he had a skin cancer, he couldn't do anything. Like, he was in chemo. He was in... The nigga was in a lot of shit. And this is when I was in, like, elementary. He was in chemo. He had... um. They had them on liquids. Uh, and then by the time I got into middle school, his cancer was in remission. He ended up losing a lot of weight. So his body was able to fight everything. He couldn't even work outside for too long because mm. it had like it damaged his body. It had lasting yeah. damage on his body. And it took him the last 15 some odd years to get to where he's back moving, has energy, all this shit. You got two of them. You and claiming, I could be wrong. Claiming to have and I could be wrong with my grandfather's diagnosis. I don't want to. But from what I remember. Bro, my grandpa had cancer. Straight my to the brother bed. had stage three colon Straight cancer. To the still bed. had a full head of hair till he passed. His skin began to turn yellow at time due to radiation and meds. Just a terrible experience to watch. Rip yeah, bro, that's pen how to terrible. Face. Repeat, that's how but terrible. she's terrible, bro. She's Mama! She's terrible. And she talking about she got leukemia the same what the woman had from earlier. And the woman from earlier couldn't move. What kind of cancer Papa had? The woman from earlier couldn't move. It hurt to move. My grandpa had prostate cancer straight to the bed. Like, come on. Straight bed ridden. I think it was prostate. I think it was prostate. It was prostate or testicular. It was one of those two. 
crazy Create work, cancer. Bro. She therefore update her GoFundMe, writing Maddie's cancer has been progressively getting worse and has spread oh, so all over her body, already including throughout her blood and also is already her up. spine. She's just making She's up. tried everything and given it her all. Ooh. Chemo, radiation, Ooh. and other methods Ooh. have no longer helped. As a result, oh. donations flooded in, totaling 37,000. You 440 idiots. <laughs> You 440. The crazy part is there's already people calling her bullshit. It's not like she did all of this and then they called her bullshit. There's already people from the beginning, from the jump, calling her bullshit. And y'all still... $800. Maddie's close family friend, Peggy Ohl, whose on, husband bro. died of pancreatic cancer, on, also sent Maddie a whole she cut package her hair to of look support like a materials, wig. including $500 in gift cards. To keep the money rolling in, Maddie befriended a fellow cancer patient named Charlie, who passed oh away God. in October 22, oh leading Maddie to make the following post. This just absolutely breaks my heart. Charlie and I would text each other daily, it. talking about all yeah. the ups and downs of both our battles with cancer. This, this is the it. most evil scam, scam, scam. Evil. She has no evil. heart. People are evil. No heart, bro. People are evil. Jesus Christ. She gonna be broke. And she, she was seriously she just a sweet, genuine soul. We were the same age, lived within minutes of each other, and could relate to each other 100%. Sadly, it Can seemed Maddie's back? cancer was also getting worse, yeah. as she'd post a compilation showing everything she'd been through. Included were photos of her in hospital, although it would be Bro! through these that Maddie was finally exposed. She's not in the hospital! scrub hacks who worked inside a hospital noticed Maddie's medical equipment was installed incorrectly what is going on with that chest port i am not a chemo nurse but this doesn't look like a port to me the dressing is really screwed up with her feeding tube that's not primed let's go closer to her nose is that the oh my end God. of the feeding oh tube one comment God. clarified chemo nurse here and that ain't a port again confirmed <laughs> <laughs> None of the pictures I are even in a hospital. I hate people. Bro. I hate people. You're just not human. It's confirmed. I hate people. Jesus Christ, a medical bro. doctor. So you can see that the actual positioning of the port, per se, is not accurate. Also, the way that it's secured, the type of tape that's used, is not the same clinical tape that we would use in the hospital. Compare Maddie's port to that of Anna Tower, and the difference is almost comical. And I don't know if you've ever seen a cancer port. They're not usually this sloppy. But the equipment problems didn't not end there. Problem. There's nothing in that bag. This would not be where big. the nutrition would be. And if she was actually Nothing. being fed via feeding tube, this tube would be full of this white liquid. There's nothing in that. So she would just be pumping air into her stomach. Other photos feature the same inaccuracies. Here's another one. No substances in the tubing. And her port is still messy. Also, do you see that right there? That little purple spot? Yeah, that's supposed to be down in her stomach. All of which were taken. Oh my God. She's, she ain't doing nothing. She research. bought this shit on eBay. Yeah. She thought she was on a movie set. The crazy part is, I guarantee you, after she got arrested, she's so far into the delusion that she's sitting in jail thinking she's innocent, knowing that she's not. Or it's, or it's, or some other shit. Or some other shit, bro. She she probably one of those ones that when she got caught, went off in the deep end on some ludicrous nutcase shit. Yeah, bro. And not inside a hospital, but instead her own apartment. Oh, bro, Every bro. other photo was simply found on Google. This is a picture she posted. That is a European outlet. This picture is oh from Google. God. Except for some other extremely <laughs> shameful posts. <laughs> this picture alone should put her in jail. She took this picture, drained from chemo era. This was on her TikTok. Somebody reverse image searched it and found an actual person with cancer. She literally... Oh... Oh, no way. That's not even her. No way. That's not even her. You're a terrible person. Oh, she's sick. You're a terrible person. She just found somebody person. with the same. She, bro, you're Look, a the, terrible. Look, the, the thing not even the same. You're a terrible person.
person. Oh, really stole my. this photo. Maddie took photos of actual cancer patients and posted them to her TikTok as if they were her She's own. Sick. Well, as a result, police received a report that Russo had taken money and donations yeah. from more than 439 donors, leading to a warrant to search the Bettendorf apartment of Madison Marie Russo. There, police found a brown paper bag with medical supplies, an IV pole with a feeding pump filled with cotton balls, two boxes of transparent yeah. dressing and a wig, plus a brand new 2023 sport art. Oh! She been eating on TikTok off of this shit. Bro! Boy, I lost my grandfather to cancer before my second tour of oh Iraq. My God. I hope they treated her poorly in prison. Uh, she, man, she... She purchased with her GoFundMe money. Police then searched Maddie's medical records taken from Genesis Trinity, which showed that although Russo was a patient, she was she never was treated never, for any cancer tumours. Police therefore froze yeah. her bank account and Maddie was arrested. Six months here, later, bro. Maddie appeared in court, making the wild claim that she had a broken family and faking cancer was her strategy to bring them back together. She's the craziest manipulator that has ever existed <laughs> she got it they need to put her away for a long time this is a super villain this is hope yeah. she got the diddy in jail Bro, she is literally making people that look similar to her because this facial structure is a common, common facial bro. She's just a facial this is a common she's making everybody that look like her just look evil uh, it's like it. it's like when you see a Karen and you're like, yeah, she look like most of the other Karens. If you, you ain't do it for, for money, <laughs> if you didn't do it for money, agree? Why'd you have a GoFundMe? Why'd you have a GoFundMe? Why did you have a GoFundMe? Why didn't did you have it. a GoFundMe? Didn't need it. Didn't need. It. Also, you should get that because that's way more filling than um, Factor. Cancer was her strategy to bring them back together. I didn't do this for money or greed. I didn't do this for attention. I did yes, this did. in an attempt to try and get my family back together. It You're, You're a crowd. grown woman! You're, You're a grown... Alright, chat. Time for me to preview y'all to some air and life information. Went homeless while in college. The reason I went homeless was due in part because of my family. I felt I was not safe at my home. Therefore, I left my home, leaving my mother there, her, my uncle, my uncle AJ, or well, my uncle, and my grandmother. Wasn't it two uncles? Yeah, my, the other one, I don't... <laughs> two uncles. Two uncles, okay? Both my uncles were not the most cohesive or normal people. They weren't normal, okay? My mom was wrapped up in work and at the time, her relationship. And my grandmother <laughs> is my grandmother. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> An, inc uh, an incident happened between me and my, my uncle. My uncle threatened to fight me. He threatened to a whole bunch of other stuff. My mom came downstairs. My mom told me to leave. Get out of here. Leave. Right? Hurt my heart. My mom made me leave with the week prior when her boyfriend and my uncle got into it, my mom threatened to kick my uncle out. She didn't do the same for me. My uncle is also notorious for revenge. I was like, I'm not safe here. I don't have a room to sleep in. I'm sleeping downstairs with both my uncles who are not normal at the time, okay? So at the time, I'm like, it's not safe for me here. I'm asleep in my car. You told me to leave. You didn't have my back. Boom. Right? My grandmother ends up getting into it with my mom. Some bad shit happened there, right? At this current point in time in my life, taking care of my grandmother, 
I've now fixed a relationship with my mom. I don't talk to my uncles. At, when at he all. says at this, he means now. Now, now. currently, currently, mm-hmm. I went six years without talking to my mom. I've taken care of my grandmother for six years, who's not an easy person to take care of, and I have not talked to my uncles at all because they're not normal. Okay, my family has fell apart. I hate holidays because I don't have a family to spend it with. I have a family that has shattered, okay? I am now trying to rebuild certain bridges with me and my mother. We fixed our relationship. We got an understanding of what happened. Me and my grandmother, I fixed that relationship. It's still hard, whatever, right? I was on the street and I didn't come up with the fucking lie. I have cancer to put my family back together. (laughs) I was on the fucking street living in a 2003 Hyundai Sonata where a crackhead was trying to drink the gas out of my gas can in a parking lot of a coffee shop and I didn't go and lie and say I had cancer to get my family back together. To this point where we're somewhat successful on YouTube, my family doesn't even know. My family doesn't know. The only one who knows is my mother. And that's and the only reason she knows is because my baby brother found out about our YouTube channel. And since we fixed that relationship, it's, it's not funny, but that gas part. Is that nigga, bro, he was in my gas can trying to drink like, it. Not the gas, not a gas can. The, the tank, gas tank, the actual <laughs> tank. He opened that bitch while I was sleeping in my car and was trying to drink my gasoline. My family is in shambles. My mother does not know if her mom's alive. My mom doesn't talk to her, my my aunt that lives in Georgia who could have possibly been wiped out by that hurricane. And yet I personally didn't come nowhere near making, making up a, a lie. A lie to get a GoFundMe and in hopes to get answers. my family back together. Granted, at this point, I would love for my family to be back together. I would love to bring my family around Mike. I would love for y'all to experience my family. As a person who lost their uncle toward the end of 2020, right before Thanksgiving, this makes me furious. And I see this and I'm like, do you know how thrown off you have to be? Don't worry, Aaron, you got us. Like, and I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. This is why you know, I always say I love y'all. But like, to use that as an excuse, you deserve it. You completely deserve it. My family, I would, I, bro, I remember when I fixed a relationship with my little brother when we, when we was in an old house before we moved out here. I was talking to Mike. I was crying. And I was like, bro, I missed out six years of his life. I missed out six years of my baby brother life. And that nigga Mike was like, bro, you couldn't do nothing about it. You couldn't do nothing about it. And the reality is when I was alone, didn't have a good job, didn't have shit. They had nobody to turn to. Only people I could turn to was Mike and his family. It's the only people who saved me. Only people. And I did not go out and fucking lie. 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 About cancer. I twin. You can always spend holidays with my fam. We got you. Like, that shit's in cancer, nigga. Like, like, like. <laughs> Cancer, and then you get caught and you start saying it wasn't for money. Bitch, I bush on it, bitch. <sighs> this for attention. I did this in an attempt to try and get my family back together. It didn't work, and it only got worse. Maddie's lawyer then explained how being exposed ruined Maddie's life. At the gym, she's had people approach her and verbally accost her. She has been at the store. Bro, bro. You just lied. Bro, bro. To the, bro, bro. Let me. Let and me. you still going to the gym? 
Chat. Are you still going to the yes, jail? Chat. The car so she could pick him up for therapy. Chat. 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 Y'all remember the weight loss series? And we got into it with uh, Greg, Greg Duchette. And mind you, when we got into it with Greg Duchette, I didn't even want to make the response video. Mike was like, let's make it. We made the response video. Greg Duchette fucking, he, he, he tore it apart, whatever. Woo -woo. Nigga, I'm still working out at the gym, trying to lose weight at the time. Nigga started coming up to me at the gym. You wrong for what you did, Greg. I didn't do that nigga nothing. And yet I still did not go back and attack Greg and start. I didn't bring none of this shit to the internet. Oh, da 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 da. Bitch, this is your fault. Your fault. You did this. You. You did this, bro. You. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. For no. where she's been flipped off and cursed uh, okay. at. She deserved okay. it. Okay. None of that was. Still demanded extra punishment. I hope Maddie Russo is held responsible. I hope Maddie Russo has to spend a great deal of time in jail. I hope Maddie Russo has to pay restitution. She preyed on my emotions and my giving nature. The judge determined that Maddie had shown remorse. I doubt that you will ever. It's good. He got a daughter. It's because he got a daughter. I, I guarantee you he got a daughter and he's like, I wouldn't want to see my daughter in jail. No, this thing is just stupid. He's dumb. He don't deserve to be a judge. You're dumb. You're an idiot. Commit a You're an idiot. Crime what remorse? Again. What remorse? Her with first degree theft. As a result, Maddie was given a 10 year suspended prison sentence, 100 hours of community service. What, hold on. Hold the fuck. Hold the fuck up. What the fuck is suspended? What does that mean? What that does that mean? She didn't go to jail. <laughs> that means she didn't go to jail, Aaron. That means she didn't go. She didn't go to jail, Mama Pete. She, she We need Captain Crash out yeah, here right no. now. What? 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 She did fraud. <laughs> she did fraud. What? Maddie was given a 10 year suspended prison sentence, 100 hours of community service, a $1,370 fine. What? And she was ordered to repay $39,000 to those who donated to her GoFundMe. However, her donors still weren't happy. As a pancreatic cancer patient who donated to her, GoFundMe refunded the money. This sentence is appalling. She lied to the court. This was for greed, not her family. You believe he believed that? Help, this stupid judge believed that? Be this stupid... Judge what's the judge's name? What's, what's the judge's name? Because I bet... I Bro. bet 100%... Bro. I bet you, I bet, Bro. I can bet my whole bank account Bro. that there was somebody that was, that did a crime and he threw the book at him. Bro. I bet a hundred, I bet everything I own. Bro, the thing is, there's a difference between doing something unintentionally or working to fix a mistake you made, right? There's different than like, oh, uh, I, I I lost um I couldn't afford to pay this and I was working to make the money to pay this. But now now I, I can't afford like you know what I'm saying? There's different like she Oh I made a mistake, I was working on it. Socks. There I made a mistake, but I was working on it. Like come on bro. Come on bro.